Donald Norman's seven stage of action model tells us about the user's experience on the interface they use while executing an action. The action could be a daily life object like turning on a microwave or exploring through sets of channels on the television. Several steps are required to be taken when executing these actions and Donald Norman's seven stage of action model explains it. The seven stage of actions are as follows. Number one, form the goal. In this stage, the intention is to understand the goal and why it is to be accomplished. This step helps the user to take the section of program or work that they want to execute such as saving a word file or turning on a microwave oven. Number two, form the intention. This stage asks why the user wants to accomplish the selected goal. The intention of this stage is that the final outcome is something that the user wants and not something random so the user is choosing the right set of action triggers. Number three, specify the action. At this stage, the user is provided with the action button or action trigger that would run the expected action to proceed. An alternative is also required to be justified so that the same action could be done with a different set of action triggers. It gives a sense of opinion to the user for the same task. Number four, execute the action. In this stage, the user is supposed to trigger the action that will result in the expected outcome for the whole process. The system should be able to execute the function of the trigger. It could be either through keyboard or mouse for a computer system. The user needs to have a feedback on how the action was executed. Number 5. Perceive the system state. Now that the action trigger is executed, the user needs to understand what happened due to the trigger. Did the expected action be executed or was there a state of error during the execution? There needs to be a feedback for the user to be alerted about the state of the system after the execution. If there was in fact an error during the execution, the system should be able to provide clear feedback. Number 6. Interpret the system state. The user needs to understand the state of the system. Is the system in the desired state? That is, the requested action was successfully executed or if there was some error during the execution. The user needs to be able to roll back or exit the system without any changes if the execution of the objective was not successful. Number 7. Evaluate the outcome. At the final stage, the user has to evaluate the outcome of the executed goal. He she needs to check the initial and final state of the system. The user needs to see if there was no wrong action sequence resulting in wrong execution. If the outcome is as expected, then the series of action was a success. Now, here is an example of a user trying to get a seat on a cinema hall. Number 1. Getting a seat. The first and most important thing that the user in the line of action sequence needs to know is that he she wants a ticket for a movie, so getting a seat on the cinema is a goal. For that, he uses an online app that would help him get to his goal. Number 2. Understanding the action for seat. Now the user needs to know that he is in the section of the app where he can reserve seats for a cinema show, because this is his intention. This avoids the user getting into the wrong action sequence. Number 3. Clicking on the available seats, multiple icon selection. The user needs to have a selection of the seat he wants to reserve from the online app. Here the action could be selecting a single or multiple seats for his or friends. The app will show an option to confirm as soon as at least one of the seats is reserved. He now has the option to confirm his request to the confirmation button. An alternative could be he could phone the cinema and directly reserve the seats. Number 4. Confirmation button trigger. Now that the selection is done, all that is left to do is execute the order that the user wants, that is, confirm his seats and make reservations on the cinema. After the confirmation is tapped, the main objective is done, unless an error follows afterwards. But the main objective was executed in this step. Number 5. Confirmation notification. After the seats were reserved, a notification bar appears as a feedback to the user, informing about the success or failure of the request that was executed. This allows the user to understand the state of the system. Number 6. Understanding notification. As the notification appears, the user needs to know what it means. The notification should be able to properly clarify about the state of the system after the action trigger. In the cinema app, the user should have a message of success or failure and also the option to undo the reservation. 
If the case is in fact a wrong action sequence for another action the user wanted to do, this would be very important and helpful. Number 7. Seat Reserved Goal Achieved At this stage, the user has accomplished his goal to reserve the seat for a movie in the cinema. There will be changes to the system from the initial state to the final state showing that a change was done under the user's request. And this is how the dolan norman 7 state of action model could help you to develop a system to perform a task successfully. This could be used for any app, product or system and it would be great asset for the development phase of a particular task.